from the Zane Scholars Arena, it's time for the Inter-University Battle of Brains. This is the 2009 Zane Africa Challenge. And now, here's the man with the question, Walimu John Sibiot Kumu. Hello and welcome to the Zane Africa Challenge 2009, Africa's International Inter-University Question and Answer Championship. This year, 32 teams have earned the right to compete through their national qualifying tournaments. They'll be answering questions on current affairs, science, sports, literature, history, geography, pop culture and indeed more besides. This season, we welcome teams from West Africa. So our players have come from Ghana, Kenya, Malawi, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Tanzania, Uganda, and Zambia. That makes eight. They're taking part in a 31-game knockout tournament. That is win and stay, lose and leave, but never empty-handed. Time now for the introductions. In this round one game, entering from my right, the Zane Scholars team from St. Augustine University of Tanzania. Mar Halin, first year business administration, Russia. Zulfa Karume, first year law, Dar es Salaam. Deofredi Malima, third year business administration, Dar es Salaam. And from my left is the Zane Scholars team from the University of Lagos, Nigeria. It's Abelu, fourth year electrical engineering, Ososo. Asame Akibi, fifth year electrical engineering, Ewohimi. ODC Diakwa, fifth year medicine and surgery, Ekoma. A very warm welcome to both our teams. This year, you and your universities will share over one million US dollars in individual, institutional and travel grants. The outright winners will take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy plus 5,000 US dollars each plus 50,000 US dollars for their university, all courtesy of Zane. And if you're watching at home, we won't leave you out of the action because you too can play and win the Zane game. A review of the rules. There'll be three rounds of face-off and bonus questions, followed by the final 60-second speed round that is the ultimate challenge. Each of you will take up the center position to answer face-off questions on your own without conferring. If you answer a face-off correctly for 10 points, your whole team can help you to answer the bonus question for 20 points. First in center position for St. Augustine University, Tanzania, is Amar. Yes. Amar, tell us something about Shinyanga, well, your hometown. Yeah, Shinyanga is a semi-arid land that's got a lot of history and rich culture with lots of people with multivarious, multicultural backgrounds. And much of it is owing to the Semitic migrations back in the Middle Ages. And so we have the Sukuma people and the Arab people mixed together, sharing in family, tradition, ceremonies, marriages, and probably Tanzanian. Right. Uh, from the University of Lagos, we have Peter. And uh, earlier on, we spoke about festivals in your country, something buzzword culture, yeah. a festival that you'd like to share with the rest um, of Africa. Uh, the Agungu Fishy Festival, yeah, that is in the northern part of Nigeria. Very, very colorful festival. Uh, what happens is the river, the river Agugu, is left. Nobody fishes on it until that day, which is the Agugu Fishy Festival. And people go in and fish. And prizes are awarded to those who get the biggest you know, sizes. And oh, it's, it's wonderful. It's really nice. A yeah. fishing festival. I'm a great lover of fish. I'm also a great lover of our first four categories. Have a look at our first four categories. And they are Export Africa, Let's Go Germany, Weather Vane, Whatever. Peter, choice of category, please. Whatever. It is. Hancock, Dunlop, and Bridgestone are brands of what type of product? St. Augustine? Why? No, I'm turning it over Tax. to Lagos. Tax. Correct, for 20 bonus points. Which part of an automobile one uses calipers, pads, and discs? Brakes. Correct. And two, measures distance travel. Odometer. Yes, for 20 points, giving you 30 points in all. Peter, choice of category, please. Whatever. It is. In 2008, which vice captain of Nigeria's Super Eagles was also vice captain of the Everton team? Lagos? 
Joseph Hugo. Correct, for 20 bonus points, so five points apiece and a five point bonus for all three. Given pairs of African footballers identify their English team. Nice One, El Hadjoujouf and Abdullah Emeite. Sunderland. No. The correct answer is Bolton. Soli Muntari and Loren. Postmont. That is correct. And two, Mohamed Shoki and Mido. Middlesbrough. That is correct. For 10 points, giving your total of 50. Peter, choice of category, please. Whatever. Whatever it is. Which fictional title character appears in the series of films partially titled Identity, Supremacy, and Ultimatum? Lagos? Bourne. It's correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One, which actor starred as Jason Bourne in the three films? Mandimon. That is correct. And two, which U.S. author wrote the novels on which the movies are based? Robert Ludlum. That is correct. For 20 points, bringing your total to 80. Peter, choice of category, please. Whatever. It is. Which three-letter word names moisture from the air that covers services on cold mornings? Lagos. Dew. It's correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Anemometer, barometer, barometer. hygrometer. One, which measures air pressure? Barometer. That is correct. Two, which measures wind speed? Anemometer. That is correct. For 20 points, bringing your total to 110. Peter, choice of category, please. Well, it is hourly, daily, yearly. How often does a diurnal or circadian weather event occur? Lagos. Yearly. No. I'm handing it over to St. Augustine. Daily. That is correct. For 20 bonus points. 10 points apiece. Apka before Fujita Scoville. Which two of those scales measure the strength of winds or storms? Before. And the other? Scoville. No, the other one is Fujita. 10 points, bring your total to 20. Am our choice of category, please? Let's go, Germany. It is. Which German word for children's garden names a type of preschool? Lagos? Kindergarten. That is correct for 20 bonus points. Literature, peace, physics. Mm -hmm. Which Nobel Prize was won by Germans Max Planck and Wilhelm Rutgen? Physics. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 140. Peter, choice of category, please. Where have you been? Where have you been? It is. Rainbows can be seen only when facing away from the what? Tanzania. Sun. That is correct for 20 bonus points. Which three syllable word means one? A violent, narrow wind vortex over land. Hurricane. Hurricane? No, the correct answer is tornadoes. Two, the same storm over water. Hurricane? Water sprouts. Am our choice of category, uh, let's please? Let's go Germany. Let's go Germany, it is. Which southern German city and economic center of Bavaria has the German name of München? Lagos? Munich. That is correct for 20 bonus points, five points apiece, and a five point bonus for all three. Yes or no? Were the following ever German colonies? One, Benin? No. No. Yes. no. Correct? Libya? No. Zambia? Yes. yes. Correct. For 20 points, bring your total to 150. The score stands at 30 points for St. Augustine and 170 for Lagos. Now, whenever a team makes its first appearance on the Zane Africa Challenge, we think our viewers right across the continent should find out something about its university. So, first of all, Here's a profile of St. Augustine University in Tanzania. Established in 1998, St. Augustine University of Tanzania, SAUT, is a secular and private institution for higher learning owned and managed by the Catholic Church. St. Augustine offers courses in journalism, mass communications, accountancy, procurement and logistics, ICT, medicine, education, arts and sciences, law and health administration. They've got really good teachers because some of them are actually internationally known around East Africa and everything. Well, the environment, it's a good social environment. St. Augustine's vision is geared towards a training that would not only impact academic and professional skills, but also that would inculcate values of civic and social learning and ethics. There are some added subjects we are being taught religious subjects, ethical subjects, and philosophical subjects too, and theological reasoning too. Those were scenes from the campus of St. Augustine University, Tanzania. I wish to say that in the judge's opinion, one of the answers given from me was wrong because El Hadjouf has since moved to Sunderland, and therefore I'm awarding 10 points 
to the University of Lagos. So, onwards, onwards, round two. The score now stands at 180 for Lagos University, Nigeria, against 30 for St. Augustine University, Tanzania. We now have Zulfa in centre position for St. Augustine. Zulfa, I believe that one of your claims to fame is that you have a painting you did of Secretary General Ban Ki-moon in a major office in Dar es Salaam. More, please. Well, in my final year of secondary school education, there was an inter-school competition, a bonanza actually, where some of the, one, one, of the, um, one of the competitions was an art competition. And originally, I meant to draw something else, but instead I drew a painting of Ban Ki-moon. And uh, one of the United Nations Information Center's officials said that they would come and hang it in um, the office. One day, I hope you'll do a painting of me. Hopefully, yes, I will. We now have Oseme yes. from the University of Lagos in center position. And Oseme is going to tell us something about Abeokuta, if I pronounced it correctly. Yes, um, the town has a very interesting history. It gets its name from a big rock in the middle of the town. The name of the rock is Oluma Rock. Now, it is said that in times past, when enemies attacked Abeokuta, the people of Abeokuta would run under the rock and hide, and they'd be safe till the enemies went, then they'd come out. So Abeokuta means literally under the rock, which is where the town gets its name from. Well, nobody's going to attack you when you choose a category. All right. Let's uh, have a look at our four new categories, and they are in the news in Europe, peoples of Africa, things in the sky. Which unusual word? Zulfa, choice of category, please. Things in the sky. It is. Which solar system body was downgraded from planet to dwarf planet in 2006? St. Augustine. That was Pluto. Correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Eight. One, how many planets are there now in the solar system? Eight. That is correct. And two, Eris Kuiper Oort, which is a dwarf planet discovered in 2005 that is larger than Pluto? Eris. That is correct. Bringing you a total of 60 points. Zulfa, choice of category, Things please. Things in the sky. It is. The Leonids, Geminids, and Perseids are three of which type of annual shower events? St. Augustine. Meteor showers. That is correct. For 20 bonus points, meteor showers result when Earth enters the debris field from which type of celestial object? The sun. No, the correct answer is comets. Oh, so for choice of category, please. Things in the sky. It is. Yeah. Until 2014, the U.S. is dependent on which nation for transportation to the International Space Station? Lagos? Russia. It's correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One, Atlantis, Discovery and Endeavour, all to be retired by 2010. Uh, which type of space vehicle? Space shuttles. That is correct. And two, which Russian manned space vehicle has been in service since 1966? Sputnik. No, the correct answer is Soyuz. Oseme, choice of category, which please. Which unusual word? It is. Janissary Hoplite Grenadier, which was a soldier who specialised in the use of small bombs. Grenadier. That is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One, grenade bombs were named for their resemblance to which reddish fruit? Grapes. No, the correct answer is pomegranate. And two, the Grenadines are islands in which sea near Barbados and Trinidad? Pacific. Pacific. Pacific? No, Caribbean. Also, oh, choice of category, please. Which unusual word? It is binary binomial binocular. Which name is given to a maths expression consisting of two terms connected by a plus or minus? Lagos? Binomial. That is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Bibliostat, biblioclept, bibliophile. Which is one, a lover of books? Bibliophile. That is correct. Two, a thief of books? Bibliocleft. That is correct. For 20 points, bringing your total to 240. Also, my choice of category, please. Peoples of Africa. It is. Which is the largest ethnic group in South Africa? Lagos? Zosa. No, I'm turning it over to St. Augustine. Zulu. That is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One, which KZN province of South Africa Zulu. borders Mozambique and Lesotho? Zulu Natal. That is correct. Two, the Zulu province includes which mountains whose name means the Barrier of Spears? Drakensberg Mountain. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 100. End of round two. <laughs> the score stands at... 100 for St. Augustine, Tanzania, against 240 for Lagos. Now, continuing our international introductions, let's take a look at the University of Lagos in Nigeria. 
The University of Lagos, Nigeria, popularly referred to as UNILAG, was founded in 1962 and made up of two campuses. The university is comprised of nine faculties and a college of medicine. The faculties offer a total of 117 programs in arts, social sciences, environmental sciences, pharmacy, law, engineering, science, business administration and education. I like the fact that they are able to strike a balance between academic and social life. That's great. You rarely find that anywhere. Unilag's vision is to be a top-class institution for the pursuit of excellence through learning and research by providing a conducive teaching environment where staff and students can interact and compete effectively with their counterparts worldwide. Well, um, Lagos is a very big town, investing in big towns, so it's cosmopolitan, and everybody from around Nigeria comes there. And besides, my father went there. We have probably higher standards in Nigeria, and we're aiming for higher every time. Scenes from the campus of the University of Lagos, Nigeria. This is the moment to acknowledge our educational partners, the ministries of education in the competing countries, and all the participating universities themselves. Thank you very much for your support. <laughs> onwards, onwards. Round three. The score stands at 100 for St. Augustine against 240 for the University of Lagos, Nigeria. And now in center position, we have ODC for the University of Lagos. Another festival that I might look out for in Nigeria? The Doba Festival. For what? Um, it's a festival about horses. Horses, camels, elephant, and the parade in the streets. There are flame throwers, flame eaters, sword swallowers, snake charmers. The whole mix of it is a heady mix. Very nice to see. Okay, ODC, I look forward to seeing the snake charmers in particular. Over now to Deus Dedit from the University of St. Augustine. Yes. Explain how you got a name like Deus Dedit coming from Tanzania. Uh, it seems to be unusual, but not. Actually, it's a Portuguese name meaning God gave. And it was my mom's very handsome uncle and he died in the very young age without having even a single kid. So when my mom got birth of me, he said God gave her a very handsome man again. So he gave oh, me Oh, what a lovely story. I hope you're going to make a handsome choice of category. Have a look at our four new categories, and they are Emography, 2009 Sport Headlines, African Independence, The Human Body. 2009 Sports Headlines. It is. Surprising, Louis Felipe Scolari was sacked in February 2009 by which English Premier League side? St. Augustine. Chelsea. That is correct for 20 bonus points. 10 points apiece. One, Scolari Brazil. is a native of which country with a long history of football success? Brazil. That is correct. Okay. Two, Scolari once managed which national team now captained by Cristiano Ronaldo? Portugal. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 130. There is stated. Choice of category, please. 2009 Sports Headlines. It is. In 2009, Christian Chukwu won the African Legend Award of the CAF, having captained which nation's teams in the 1970s and 80s? St. Augustine. Nigeria. That is correct for 20 bonus points for 10 points apiece. One, which Nigerian team with a two-word name did he captain to its 1980 Africa Cup of Nations win? Kanon Yonde. Kanon No, the Green Eagles. And two, what was its name when he led it to win the 1977 African Winners' Cup? Green Eagles. No, the correct answer is the Enugu Rangers. Dare I start it? Choice of category, please. 2009 Sports Headlines. It is. The January 2009 FIFA ranking saw Egypt move up to number 15 in the world and number 2 in Africa. Which African country ranked just above Egypt? St. Augustine. Cameroon. That is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Which two English-speaking West African countries joined Cameroon and Egypt among FIFA's top 25? Ghana. Correct. And Nigeria. That is correct. For 20 points, bringing your total to 170 against Lagos, 240. Dare state it, choice of category, please. African independence. It is. Which African nation was the last along the Mediterranean to gain independence in 1962 after an eight-year war of liberation? St. Augustine. Liberia. No, I'm turning it over to the Algeria. University of Lagos. Algeria is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One, which African Mediterranean Egypt. nation became independent first in 1922? Egypt. That is correct. And two, which country was its last colonial Britain. occupier? Britain. That is correct. For 20 points, ODC, choice of category, please. Human body. It is. 
Heart, gluteus maximus, bicep, which is the largest muscle in the body? St. Augustine. Heart. No, I'm turning it over to the University of Lagos. Gluteus maximus. That is correct. For 20 bonus points, the energy required for muscle contraction comes from which molecule containing three phosphorus groups? ATP. That is correct. For 20 points, bringing your total to 300. ODC, choice of category, please. The human body. It is. The smallest bones in the human body are located in which sensory organ? Lagos? Yeah. That is correct for 20 bonus points. That flash of lightning sound means that you get to play the Zane super bonus of the day for 30 points rather than the usual 20. Odyssey, it's in a special category which today is African vegetables. Please take a look at your screen. Which letter designates the important root vegetable one Coco yam. D. That is correct. Cassava. B. Yes. Three, sweet potato. C. Correct. Three for 30 points, bringing your total to 340. ODC choice of category, please. Human body. It is. Of the cranial nerves, the hypoglossal nerve helps you control which organ? St. Augustine. Heart. No, I'm turning it over to the University of Lagos. Tongue. That is correct for 20 bonus points. One, parotid and submaxillary are glands that produce which fluid? Saliva. That is correct. And two, which word, the counterpart of endocrine, describes glands that secrete to outside the body? Exocrine. That is correct for 20 points. End of round three. <laughs> the score stands at 170 for St. Augustine against 370 for the University of Lagos, Nigeria. We'll be back to play the ultimate challenge when either team has its last chance to win. But first, here's your chance to play and win the Zane game. This SMS game is open to Zane customers only. The first correct player wins a Zane USB data card with 1,000 Naira airtime. The second correct player wins a 4GB iPod. The third correct player wins a 2GB iPod. The fourth and fifth correct players win vouchers for Zane airtime worth 3,000 Naira. The question for today is, in which country did Austin J.J. Okocha first play professional football? In which country did Austin J.J. Okocha first play professional football? Is it A. France, B. Germany, or C. Great Britain? SMS your answer to 33971. Choose A for France, B. Germany, or C. Great Britain. SMS your answer to 33971. Winners will be called and advised on how to collect their prizes. Happy playing, everybody. And now for the ultimate challenge, one last chance for one of the teams to win. You've got 60 seconds to answer 10 questions as a team in the category of your choice. Speed is of the essence. You can answer or pass on any question. Every correct answer is worth 50 points. If you answer all 10 correctly, each of you will win an extra 500 US dollars in cash. The score now stands at 170 for St. Augustine University, Tanzania against 370 for the University of Lagos, Nigeria. But it's still anyone's game because the ultimate challenge is worth 500 points. St. Augustine, you're behind, so you play first. Remember, the ultimate challenge is the ultimate choice. Have a look at our four final categories, and they are bodies of water, musical instruments, words with I and E, well-known numbers. Words with I and E. Words with I and E it is. Take a deep breath. Which five-letter word with I as its third and E as its final letter is, seconds away, a natural fruit beverage? Pass. Pass. A set of tuned musical bells? Pass. Pass. It's an influential style of Japanese cartoon? Pass. Pass. To grasp tightly or lay hold of? Pass. Pass. As an adjective, lacking experience, wisdom, or judgment. Pass. A word for quick, nimble, and graceful. Agile. Yes. 
Ox stomach, when prepared as a dish? Pass. Someone ostracized with no country? Pass. Any metal after reacting with the atmosphere? Pass. Pass. A tree whose branch is a symbol Olive. of peace, oh. yes? A natural fruit beverage? Yes. Yes. A set of tuned musical bells? Chime. Yes. Is an influential style of Japanese cartoon? Comic. Uh, uh. No. To grasp tightly or lay hold of? Pass. An adjective for lacking experience, wisdom or judgment? Pass. Ox stomach, when prepared. Time's up. You answered four questions correctly, earning you 200 points and giving you a grand total of 370. Let's look at the ones that you got wrong. Japanese cartoon, anime, grasp or seize, lacking experience to be naive, ox stomach, tripe, ostracized, exile, reacted metal oxide. The University of Lagos, Nigeria, you'll be interested to know that the score stands at 370 for St. Augustine, and at this stage, 370 for you. Let's choose one of the three remaining categories. Well-known numbers. Well-known numbers it is. Take a deep breath. Identify these whole numbers from science, sport, history, etc. And seconds away, Normal body temperature in Celsius. Yes. Western calendar year of the Hedgera from Mecca to Medina. Pass. Minimum age of a non agonarian 90. Yes. Number of titled monkeys in the 90. Yes. In rhyme, number of blackbirds baked in a pie. Pass. 12. No, it equals one gross. 144. Yes. Minutes in the barrier broken by Roger Bannister. Pass. Gordon Brown. Ten. Yes. Number associated with goalkeepers and championships. Yes. Member countries of the African Union. 53. Yes. Western calendar year of the Hedgera from Mecca to Medina. No. In rhyme, number of blackbirds baked in a pie. 12. No. Minutes in the barrier broken by Roger Bannister. 5. No. Western calendar year for, of the Hedgera from Mecca to No. In rhyme, number of blackbirds baked in a pie. 7. No. Minutes in the barrier broken by Reggio Bannister. Nine. No. Western calendar year from the Hedgera from Mecca to Fortuna. Time's up. <laughs> you answered seven questions correctly, giving you 350 points, and with a grand total of 720 making the University of Lagos, Nigeria, the winner of today's Zane Africa Challenge. A recap of the ones that you got wrong. The Hedgera, 622 AD. Four and 20 blackbirds baked in the pie. 24. Right, and the barrier was for four minute mile. St. Augustine University, Tanzania, Bahatimbaya, we have to say goodbye to you. You'll be taking away 500 US dollars each, plus $5,000 as an institutional grant for your university. The University of Lagos, Nigeria. Ekushe, well done, <laughs> well won. We look forward to seeing you in another round. You're still in the running to take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy, and as outright winners, 5,000 US dollars each and 50,000 US dollars for your university, all courtesy of Zane. In our next game, Valley View University Ghana takes on Copper Belt University from Zambia in the international inter university battle of brains that is the Zane Africa Challenge. Do join us again. From all of us here, it's bye-bye till next time.